Once upon a time, there was a land named Stuffyland. In Stuffyland, everyone was always happy or snoozing. In Stuffyland, some people had shops. Some people bought from the shops. And some people just had plain old conversations to keep happy. But in the land of Stuffyland, there was a king. His name was King Arctic. He got he was really happy, but he got mad whenever someone new came and they didn't know what to do. Or they broke the laws or, or something that he didn't like. He had six slaves. These were his slaves. And he also had a son named Tundra. He was a prince. One day in Stuffyland, Shopkins arrived. They arrived in four boats, really organized. One boat was for season one Shopkins. One boat was for season two Shopkins. One boat was for season three Shopkins. And one boat was for season four Shopkins. There were seven Shopkins in each boat. But these Shopkins did not know about the king in Stuffyland, for they knew everything else. So when they arrived, they did not know what to do. Oh my gosh, we're finally here. Guys, we're finally here. We're finally here. I can't wait to see what these shops are. Yeah, I'm excited too. So as they unloaded, all the stuffies in stuffy land were just as happy as ever. First, the season one Shopkins got out. I'll lead the way. I want to go in first before anyone else. Okay, we'll stay right here. So that's what she did. Candy Cotton went in first before anyone else followed her or did anything. She saw the wonderful land of Stuffyville. She felt like she was in heaven. Oh my gosh, guys, hurry, hurry, you must come see this right now. So everyone scurried along and came and see. Ooh, 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 we better go see, we better go see. Look. And that's what they did. Everyone looked. And they were amazed with what they saw. Everyone was so happy. And in the land where the Shopkins lived, Shopville, of course, everyone was happy too. But this, this was heaven for them. They need to see new faces for once. And here they saw them. So they went to some shops. And then the other Shopkins from the other seasons came. But Grand Jam decided to go have a conversation. Oh, I better go talk. So all the other Shopkins from the other seasons came. Because the season one Shopkins texted them that it was amazing there. So they decided they would come and see what it was all about. For they didn't want to miss this heavenliness. So they all scurried along and made their way right to Stuffyville. Well, everyone else was just enjoying their time in Stuffyville. How Stuffyville was always like. So all the Shopkins went to the stores and, what the, and did what the Season 1 Shopkins did. But back in King Arctic's castle, things were so happy. But it was the way the slaves didn't like uh, having to do their chores. 
but they were pretty used to it now, so they did them. Slaves, all six of you slaves, listen to me. Listen up, right now. Yes, boss? I would want you to go do a check outside, see how everything is. Right away, go. So that's what the slaves did. They all went out and checked what was happening. Slave one went to the snoozing section. Slave two went to the first shop. Slave three went to the second shop. Slave four also went to the second shop. Slave five went to the third shop. And slave six went to the conversating, the talking area. And every single slave saw every single shopkin. And boy, they weren't happy. Well, it was more the king wasn't happy when he heard the news. All the slaves arrived back at the castle. Afraid to tell their boss what they had saw. But they would have to do it. Every slave did it. So they would have to just follow the rules like any other day. Um, boss, slave one said, who is in charge of all the other slaves. We have something to tell you. What? What do you have to tell me? Tell me, quick. Is it something bad? Is it something good? Well, to be continued.